Hey Playa, there are five different types of dates that you can take your crush out on. So if you're struggling to figure out what you should do, this video is going to help you out. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. Coming up with a date idea can be a bit difficult, usually it depends on how close you are with that person, and even when you feel like you are close, coming up with the right thing for you two to do is a bit challenging. And because of that, I've broken down the five different types of dates you can go on, with the first one being an eating date. This one's a simpler one because at the end of the day, everyone likes to eat, and everyone needs to eat. So if you tell your crush something like, hey I'm really hungry, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat, you wanna come join me, that's an invitation for them to do something they would probably normally do on their own. Now this one's easy because you can just pick a local fast food restaurant or a restaurant that you usually like to go to that you order a meal that you love. The whole point in an eating date really is just to kind of spend time, enjoy food together, bond over that food eating experience, and to use that as an opportunity to get to learn a little bit more about them. Where you choose to go eat doesn't matter, but I would recommend don't pick a fancy place on the first or second date. Use that as an opportunity just to grab something quick. Maybe you want to go to a coffee place, maybe you want to go to an ice cream shop. The second type of date is an entertainment date. Now this one's different from an eating date because you're spending less time having a face-to-face -face conversation and more time observing something, enjoying it, and then coming back together to share that experience. Now this can easily be something like going to the movies with them, going to watch a school sports team, going to watch a band play, going to do something where the two of you are observing something and then you can come back together to share your thoughts and feelings. Now a good way to ask them out on this type of date is to talk to them about the things that you like, the things that you want to see, the things that you enjoy, and then invite them to come enjoy that experience with you. You might want to say something like, hey, I'm really looking forward to this movie coming out. You should come check it out with me because I heard it's going to be really good. The third type of date is a bonding activity. Now this one's similar to an entertainment date because the two of you are doing something together, but the focus here more so is on the two of you actively being involved in that experience together. So if you're doing something like playing mini golf or going bowling, those are activities where you're kind of competitive with the other person, you're kind of playing with them, and it gives you the opportunity to flirt, to tease, them to be competitive to have that fun added into the date I think bonding activities are a great way to really really get to know someone better because you get to see a side of them that you don't normally see maybe you met them in school and you're used to seeing them around their friends or in class and now you're gonna start to see their fun personality start to come out and that's the type you really want them to express around you because when they're able to put their fun personality out there that shows that they're being open with you that they're being honest that they're really allowing you in to see the real them so a good way to invite them on this type of date is to talk about the thing you want to do, to tell them that you've always wanted to do it and that you want to do it with them because they seem like a fun person that you can have a really good experience doing that with. The fourth type of date is a group hangout. And you might be thinking to yourself, if my friends are there, how exactly is it a date? And here's how. You see, even though your friends are there, they provide the safety net for you. So if things start to get awkward between you and your crush, you can always turn to your friends or involve them in the conversation to save it so that you don't both just kind of walk away feeling weird. But you also have the opportunity to break off with your crush one-on-one. -on -one. Let's say everyone's hanging out in a group and you just tell your crush, hey, you wanna go for a walk with me and let's go talk. You have that opportunity to break off for a few minutes here here and there to get to know them better without it being weird. Now if you don't really know your crush that well, I think a group hangout is the best thing to do because it gives you the opportunity to get to know them and their friends better and for them to get to know you and your friends better. Now a good way to kind of lead into this kind of group hangout simply is to say, hey, me and my friends want to get to know you and your friends, let's all go out and do something together. Maybe an entertainment thing, maybe a group hangout activity, anything with the two of you and all of you guys can kind of bond is a good way to get to know your crush better. And and the fifth type of date is what I call the walk and talk. Now the focus of these type of dates isn't to actively do things, it's really just to get to know that person better. Sometimes you just want to spend time with them, to really dive deeper into who they are as a person, to really show them who you are as a person, and for the two of you to not be distracted by other things. So the reason why I call it walk and talk is, you might want to just invite them out for a walk. You might want to say something like, hey what are you doing after school, let's go for a walk together and just get to know each other better. Now I would recommend using something like this using this type of date when you feel like the two of you are already starting to have that bond together because they're going to be open to spending that one-on-one -on -one time with you without any kind of distractions. Usually people want distractions or things to do when they don't really know that person that well, but if you're already on the trajectory of things going well with your crush, this is the perfect type of date to invite them out on. And look, no matter what type of date you choose to ask your crush out on, the whole purpose of dating them is to get to know them better to see if the two of you can build something. You don't want to ask 
ask them out on a date and then ignore them. You don't want to ask them out on a date just because you want to date them and you just want to be around them. The whole purpose is to build something together. Now I know you might be nervous, it might feel awkward, it might feel weird, you might not know how to approach the situation, but simply asking someone to spend time with you because you really enjoy their company or you really think they're a cool person sometimes is all you need to do. All week long, I'm going to be making videos on how to make better plans with your crush. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can know exactly when I post a new video, the exact moment it happens. So you can be the first one there to get the ideas to put them into play. Now guys, what I want you to do is check out the video right there on the side because that video is gonna help you dive deeper into making better plans with your crush. Check the playlist underneath it as well to watch more videos on this topic. And on that note, I'll catch you tomorrow. As always, love and peace.